and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. So since I finished colouring this page from Mythomorphia, I've had so many comments and questions and messages from people asking me how I achieved the blended sky background on this double page spread. And a lot of people, when they found out that I did it with Karandash Neo Colours, were quite surprised because they can't really ever get their Neo Colours to look as smooth as this. And there is a trick to it, and it's super, super simple. And I'm going to show you today exactly how to do this. So I'm going to put this to one side for now. I've got my Neo Colours here. I've only got the 30 set. I would absolutely love to have the full set because they're an amazing supply. But you can do a lot with this 30 set there is a great range of colors included now the ones that you'll need for that exact sky that you just saw there are black uh, prussian blue and ultramarine light blue and finally turquoise blue so those are the five colors that you will need for that particular one so i've got my little scrap of paper here i'm going to zoom in so that you can see it much closer up and first, the first thing that I do um, on the page is lay the crayon down just straight onto the paper like this. So for example, um, say that the lion is here, I would just go around the shape of the lion and just go around whatever illustration is there, just colouring the background. So I do a layer of black first of all at the top of the page, then move on to the next darkest colour which is the Prussian blue and start from kind of the mid three-quarter point of the black and pop the Prus Prussian blue on there like that. So you're, you're overlapping, that will help with the blend. Then the next colour which is the ultramarine. Exactly the same thing, go about halfway, three-quarters of the way into the previous colour. Then the uh, light blue. and the, what was this one, turquoise blue to finish. So there we go. Then take your paintbrush or water brush, whatever it is that you're using. I'm using a water brush here. And we're going to start from the bottom. So I'm going to completely just wash over the colour with my paintbrush, no specific skill or technique required. And as you go up and up, you will see that they automatically just start to blend with each other. You can see we're getting darker. It's always best to go from light to dark with this kind of medium because you can often drag a lot of the dark down into your light if you're not careful, but you can't do it the other way around. So you can see we've got to the top there. Now you will be able to see that there are quite a few kind of lines in between the colours. So what you need to do is wipe off your brush so it's nice and clean. And then just go kind of in between where those lines are and just muddle them up a little bit. So just muddle them up so it looks more like a smooth gradient than there being stripes of colour if that makes sense. So now you've got the first layer of Neo Colour down with the crayon to paper technique. It's still looking really patchy and that was the main kind of concern that I had from people was that they could not get their Neo Colours to look as saturated and as opaque as mine. Um, and it just kind of left this look of some white and some darker areas and just not as completely opaque as they would have liked it to be. So what you have to then do is go back in with your colours in the same order but this time instead of scribbling the crayon onto the page because of course it's wet now and it's going to make scratchy marks you have to take your brush to the actual crayon itself so I'm here with the black I'm grabbing quite a lot of that pigment off of there and I'm going over so really the trick is layering just to build up that colour so keep going back to your crayon picking up more pigment and you'll see just how much darker and saturated that's already become. On my Mythomorphia page I did around about three layers so that's how much it took me, um, that's how, how long it took me to get 
the, the fully kind of saturated colour. So then we move on to the Prussian blue, exactly the same thing again. Clean your brush in between, obviously. Taking loads of pigment and layering it up. So first of all, just do the area of the Prussian blue only, and then you can kind of go in on that line between the black and the Prussian blue and merge it together a little bit more. So clean your brush again. I have a bit of tissue this time, guys. I'm not having to use the back of my hand as usual. <laughs> okay, so next is the Ultramarine. And these, these Neo colours, honestly, they're one of my favourite colouring supplies, but I don't use them very often. I don't know why I don't. I need to start using them more. But they are just so versatile. You can, you can layer them, you can use them as background, you can use them for detail work, you can sharpen them and save all of the sharpenings of the pure pigment so you're not wasting any of it. They're just so, so wonderfully saturated and vivid. The colours are so vibrant. So I put some ultramarine on there and then you can go in and do that little merge of the line. And you see how it's just getting darker and you're building up that colour all the time. I think a lot of people were just stopping at the one layer, which was why it looks so patchy. But you really need to just layer it a few times and that's the only trick. So taking this now from the light blue, which is our second to last colour. Adding this into the same area as we put it originally. And instead of overlapping it at first, just do the block area of it. And then after you've kind of done that, then you can go in and merge the lines together a little bit. It's not going to look perfect for now because we do have one more layer to put on there. So it's still looking a little bit linear. So washing the brush again and the final colour. So just making sure you've got loads of the pigment because we really want to build it up. We want it to be completely, I can't think of any other word to say, but saturated with the colour. We don't want any patchiness. So I've put that over there and then I'm going to merge the line, blend it all together. Wash the brush. You can go in with a kind of washed brush, a clean brush, and just merge it up a little bit more. And then I would recommend doing a third layer. Now on the Mythomorphia one that I did, there was absolutely no transference on the other side. So just to show you, there's the, uh, the one that I did. And I'm going to turn it over and you can see that there is no show through or shadowing of the Neo colours whatsoever. So these are really good to use on most colouring books. Obviously the thicker the better, but they're really, really good. So third layer, because there's still a bit of patchiness here. Going back in with the black, picking up loads of that pigment. I, I'm always astounded, I don't know why, but I'm always astounded by exactly how much colour you get in these sticks and it's all pure, there's nothing added to it. You know, it's, it's pure pigment, there's no binders that make it kind of clunky or waxy or anything like that, it's just fantastic. So you basically just have to keep layering. As I say, usually three layers is enough to stop that kind of patchy show through. So there's the black. Then clean your brush. This is the same piece of tissue I used on my last video for the watercolour project. I think I need to get some more. So clean brush and the next colour. And this is actually really quick. I mean, I know that it seems like kind of doing the same steps over and over again, but it's not laborious. It's very, very quick and it can fill a large area very quickly as well, which is fantastic for backgrounds. So you can see I've just added the dark blue there and then I'm just sort of pulling bits of black and pushing bits of blue so that it's a, a gradient rather than a block of colour. Clean the brush again. Next colour. So I want to know in the comments if you have the Neo colours. 
And if you've been struggling with them and, and sort of trying to get rid of that patchiness but you haven't been able to, and if this kind of solution will help you, um, whether you've tried it before or whether it's new to you, I just thought I'd come on and do a quick demonstration so that you can see that they do actually layer up really, really well and they blend really, really well. Because I think a lot of people were saying, how do you blend the Neo colours? They don't, they don't blend, but they really do. You just have to keep on it, on at it, really. So, um, yes, loads of this, what's this one called? Ultramarine. <laughs> I am no good with names. And then taking a clean brush, swirling and whirling it between the line just to create a gradient and the next color which is the light blue picking up loads and loads of pigment really nice and thick then adding it here and using your brush to blend clean off the brush and then use the clean brush to move some of the previous color into it and just blend it a little bit more it's probably a bit too much there um, a bit there I think we'll see how it looks and then the final color the turquoise I'm hoping you can see, I know there's a huge shine on here from my overhead light, but I will move it in a moment. There's no other way that I can light this as well, unfortunately. So I'm adding a final layer of turquoise. And then mixing the line. Um, that looks pretty good actually, so I'm just going to clean it off for the final time just to make sure it's all nicely merged together and there we go, that is basically how I did it, that's the exact technique so it doesn't take long at all, they're a very very quick medium it's super simple, you don't need any kind of skills to do it but it's really really effective just let me bring this out of the light and make sure you can see it properly So. You can see obviously it's still wet but it will dry and it will look much better when it's dry as well. But it's kind of got that watercolour wash effect to it so it doesn't look perfect but it looks just, I love it, I think it's beautiful. And you can do that with any of these Neo colours. Obviously it helps if they're all of the same family or they blend together naturally on the colour wheel. But you could do sunsets with this, you could do galaxies with this, I've done a galaxy tutorial with the Neos before. Um, you could do grass different um, colours of grass, gradients, um, you could do anything, you could do anything, it's all a matter of trial and error and just experimenting with the medium but just want to try and get you to see that the depth of the colour there and uh, that they don't have to be patchy, they can be completely opaque and saturated. So I really hope that you've taken something from this tutorial and um, I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.